All right, it's Saturday morning. I'm not gonna go to work today because I don't feel like it. But <clears throat> it's not raining at the moment, but it has been. Seems like for the last several weeks. But anyway, the goal today is gonna be to get this thing put together. Get the timing chain lined up correctly. And I think I got dropped the oil pan to get the timing cover back in there right. I think it was leaking oil. I might have mentioned this before because they had the thin seal and the timing cover and I think it needs a thick one. And probably if I look around in my stash of stuff, I got it. Let me get this thing back together. I'm going to put some turn downs on the mufflers. It has true dual exhaust. I think we're going to call the exhaust good. And as long as the thing will run halfway decent and not leak oil and go through all the gears, I think I got to check the brakes. I think I'm going to call her good. Clean it up and send it. I think that's what I'm going to do. Oh, yeah. The thermometer says it's like. 55 in here, but I don't feel like it. it feels cold. I know. It gets colder at the North Pole. The mailman just brought me something cool. Actually, it's a male person who happens to be a lady. The male lady brought us something cool here. Now that I got my motor all put together, I'm going to read this book and see how I should have did it. Glitter came with a sticker even. Midlife Classic Cars. I think I saw in the box, it says one foot on the throttle. Oh, one foot in the grave, one on the throttle. Yeah. Okay, I guess that's true. Alright, I got to put that book down. I got distracted, but I was looking in here. There's somebody right there. As an article about a guy who turbocharged an engine almost exactly how I'm doing it with a Pontiac 301 plenum and all. <laughs> I didn't know about that. I just winged it on mine. I didn't do anything. See, he's got water hooked to his. Anyway, that's all very interesting. I gotta stay focused on what I'm the the project at hand. And that one's out here trying to make me go blind again. I can't see your expression with the hood down. It's probably a good thing. <laughs> it's the wire right Mrs. Now. Heavy Chevy has just learned an important lesson in her welding career. And that is if there's no more wire in the welder, it won't weld no more. Excuse me, but there was wire in the welder. See, the thing about camera is you got to take the lens off. The lens cover off for it to work good. Uh, you're not going to wear that outfit to go get more welding wire, are you? No. You're not going to wear that leather thing to go get more welding wire, are you? No. People would look at you funny, probably. Huh? People would look at you funny, probably. Well, I don't care how people look at me. I am funny. <clears throat> mm. See here. Whoever uh, put this timing cover on last time torqued the bolts down real good. And tweak the sheet metal so I'm straightening that back out. I think I'm going to go ahead and put a new seal in since I got one. And uh, go from there. That's Mrs. Heavy Chevy cranking up the GMC. I heard it go thunk, thunk, thunk until it built oil pressure though. It's getting a six cylinder soon. Whoopsie. Forgot the timing pointer, didn't I? Oh, well. 
I'm going to tell you, this darn truck, I think it's going to be good when I get done with it, but I'll be glad to see it go. Because everything I touch, I noticed one time when I was adjusting the valves, I turned the motor and I felt the crank bolt slip. Slip. Just a little bit. And I said, ooh, that's not good. So, I figured if I used a thinner washer and get into the threads a little bit, obviously whoever had it before hurt the threads and the crank. Well, I was just putting the balancer on, and don't you know, pulled the threads. So I can't get the balancer on unless I do something about it. So I think what I'm going to do is tap it out half inch fine thread. I'm going to have to go buy a bolt because I don't seem to have one here. You'd think with all this stuff I got, I'd have a bolt. I don't. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to tap it out, and then I'm going to mess with some more, and maybe six months from now, I'll get this truck running. You ain't going to believe this, but the sun's came out. I don't know. But I can't show you because my phone's ringing. Probably work, yep. Next, I suppose you're going to want me to put the wire in the welder. Yeah. Don't you think it's time you learned how to do that? Yeah. Well, it'll take the time to show me. I did last time, remember? Well, let me see if I remember then. All right. All right, this is me not holding my breath. Listen. Listen, she says. It's obviously got a seed through there. Here's. I guess you done it, huh? Does that welding helmet help there? Yep. Oh. Keeps my hair on my eyes. Oh. Well, I managed to tap the crank out to half inch and get the balancer installed. So that's progress. This thing's fighting me every step of the way. It's kind of like having a teenager. I went down to the local no auto parts available and purchased a bolt half inch not these cost two dollars and thirteen cents I told that guy I hope he can sleep good tonight after selling me that bolt for that much but I needed it all right I've done blood to brakes it needed it uh, what else have I done oh I put some turn downs on the exhaust in the back I still got to put my heater hose on. What else? Heater hose, put transmission fluid in it. And then hook up my battery and I think the old bird's ready to fire up. Oh, I got to put antifreeze back in it. But speaking of old birds, ah! not you, this is a plane, right? Right? Right. With a mattock for a propeller and a couple chainsaw. I think it's pretty neat. Got some work yet. And how are you getting these welds so full of holes? Because it's so dirty. Mm. Okay. It's the... You watch that thing. Make sure there ain't no cracks in there or something where you set it down too hard or something. I set it down like this. You've seen them pictures on the internet of folks with a cut off wheel in their face? Yes. And we don't want that to be us. No. You got a pretty face. And yeah. I do too. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm fitting to crank this thing up. I probably won't do it on camera. Because you all have seen it run before. Hopefully it'll crank up and run, hopefully. And then we'll sort out the transmission and get it full of fluid and go from there. You can't hear a blame thing because of that one. She's got the air compressor running, the grinder grinding. Now I don't know what she's digging for there, but I, if you'll look in this direction, have got this thing running. can't hardly hear it, but... It's 
sounds a little better. It started running bad and then quit. And then I realized I had run it out of gas. It's got a big old Lunati can in it. Maybe I'll move that one in. And uh, see about it. See if it moves. It does move. I put it in reverse and drive. Don't make too much vacuum with that cam. Might be able to hear it real quick. She ain't been grinding. The compressor turned off. Kind of noisy valve train, but it does have a big cam. Well, pretty big. Hitting a lick, ain't it? There she goes. Still take some more tuning, but we'll work on her. Let's see how she did. It's hard to see in the background of the messy workbench. Well, uh, I'm sorry, but... Well, I think it's pretty cool. You might have got your mojo back. Look at her with a swivel wheel on the back. I gotta make the... I gotta find a couple more motors. The main motors. Well... They're big truck parts. But they're representing motors, ain't they? Yeah. And then old 63 Impaler might recognize them things. He might know what they are. Then I gotta do the... the Chevaholic would recognize them if he were to watch the video. What do you mean he don't watch our videos? Sometimes, but you know, he's real busy. Oh yeah, he got him a girlfriend now? No, I don't think so. Oh? And uh, small block Chevy valves, maybe even a Volkswagen one there, I ain't sure. Those are Volkswagen parts. Those are oil pump covers. And I bet that one's hot. Is it? Yeah, and I think these are Kim pins out of a Mack truck. I ain't sure what that is, well, but it's something. Let me put it down here so you can see. Can you going to be able to pick it up? Yeah. She's going to ride it. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I think you got your mojo back. Yeah, maybe. That valve train is a little noisy on one side. I need to adjust the valves again. It is sounding happier. Fans are working. Well, they were. They're not at the moment. Everything seems to be functioning correctly. Well, I ran out of space, so I had to delete a few things on the card. I don't know why I waste this valuable space saying that, but it's a pretty nice truck. Look at it. Anyway, we need to get her some more gas. She's about to run out of gas again. We need to work on it a little bit more. Tune her up. We need to shine her up. Put the air cleaner on it. Hook up the kick down cable. A few odds and ends. Put some wire loom on it. And then I need to get rid of this thing. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that. I did. I've enjoyed that Mrs. Heavy Chevy has got her mojo back. That's pretty cool. But I'm getting awful hungry. 
Yeah, I'm going to have to do the seat part tomorrow because I don't want to screw it up by just slapping something on there together. That's right. you got to be feeling it. Yeah, i got to feel it. All know. right, would you mind ringing the bell so we can end the video? Don't forget to do all that stuff I would need you to do and go to MrHeavyChevy.com and buy something she made. This ain't the home shopping network, <laughs> but we wouldn't mind if you did. Right? That's right. Right, babe? Right, babe. All right, then. The link will be somewhere here, there. Somewhere. There, somewhere over there. Jeez, I need to wash my hands. <laughs>